Today we're talking about the Spitfire Audio Labs pipe organ plugin. So this plugin is not just strictly a pipe organ. They basically took a pipe organ and they modified the sound and kind of created some synthy like pads with it. So you're not strictly just working with a pipe organ, you're getting some interesting variations of it. So what I'm trying to say is this plug is not just a pipe organ. And you're gonna find that out in this tutorial as I wrote five different pieces for five different presets. So when you get to the end of this video, you're gonna know whether you actually want to spend the time downloading this plugin or not. And the reason I say downloading is because it's absolutely free. So you don't have to pay a penny for it. It's part of the lab series. And if you guys aren't familiar with the lab series, all of the bundles within it are absolutely free. So that's kind of cool, all right? So if you guys wanna hear what this plugin sounds like, stick around after this introduction. What is going on everybody? I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know how new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we are talking about the new Spitfire Audio Labs pipe organ. And this is part of their lab series. And this plugin is absolutely free, which is awesome. So in this video here, I wrote five different pieces for five different presets. So you're gonna get a very good idea of what this plugin could do and what it sounds like. And you can decide whether or not you want to add it to your plugin repertoire. As we know, we're all plugin hoarders. So even though plugins are free, we may not want to add them to our repertoire, okay? so. What I want to do first is I want to actually just go over this interface quickly because there are very few buttons to it. And then after that, I'll take you right into the listening portion of this tutorial slash review. And I want you guys to answer a couple questions for me in the comments below. I want to know which of the presets that you like best. I want to know which of the pieces I wrote you like best. And then lastly, I want to know, could you picture yourself actually using this Pipe Organs Lab plugin in any of your songs, all right? So with that being said, let's actually get into the plugin overview. All right, so let's start with this fader here with the little green icon underneath it. So this is essentially your volume fader. This should pretty much be up at 100% all the time. This fader over here, this has to do with velocity and how you're playing it on your keyboard, assuming that you are playing this on a keyboard. So I actually like this at 100% most of the time um, because when you start turning it down, it starts sounding, I don't know, less focused to me. And that seems to be the way it seems to be on a lot of the Spitfire plugins that have an interface like this. At least that's what I noticed. So it's, you know, just play around with this fader to get it to where you like it. But for me, I like to leave it at 100% a lot of the time. All right. So. The next thing here, we have this little rotary fader here. So if you click this middle button, this gives you options for variation, attack, decay, sustain, release, and reverb. Okay, so variation is essentially allowing the sound to have variations to it. So if it holds out, the variation is going to kind of change how it plays maybe different times that you hold notes out. So it makes it a little different each time, all right? And you can control how often it changes by turning up this fader, all right? And then after that, you have attack, decay, sustain, and release, and that is essentially how you shape the sound, and that's pretty much in any virtual instrument plugin that you have out there. So we're not gonna go over that. And then lastly, you got reverb. And to actually get to the different types of reverbs within this plugin, if you go up to the reverb section where my mouse is here, you'll see that it says toasty. These are the different types of reverbs that exist in this plugin, all right? So those are the main controls in the plugin. And then in the middle section here, these are all the presets, all right? And if you have any other labs um, packs, I call them, they're gonna be in here too, all right? So essentially, whenever you get a labs pack, they all get put within here, okay? So that is the plugin here in a nutshell. So with that being said, let's actually get into the listening portion of this tutorial. And we're gonna start with the preset here called Requiem Pad.
All right, so those are the pieces I wrote for this little tutorial here. And as you can see, even though this is a pipe organ plugin, it has a lot of different types of sounds, some that are more pad-like. So you can get some kind of interesting, you know, variations out of this plugin. So I hope by listening to this tutorial, you have a good idea of if you can use any of these sounds in any of the music that you're creating. So I hope it helped you out somewhat. And if it did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and please hit that notification bell to know new videos coming out. And I do want to say before I let you guys go today, I have a playlist popping up in the top right corner of other Spitfire Audio plugins I've reviewed. Feel free to check out that after this tutorial. So with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.